Uh, hello, and uh, here we are with another part of my um, Ardmore collection. Um, as I said at the end of that last one I did, where I had the rather crazy lizard um, chameleon figure, um, which really takes me back to the madness of some of the uh, Ardmore artists. This one is much more straightforward. It's, it's figural, um, sculpturally correct, and uh, it's a representation of a, a Zulu African woman uh, with child, uh, carrying a basket load of um, vegetables and and um, fruit on their head. Uh, what I like about this one is it reminds me a great deal of my youth. Growing up in Africa, it was not unusual for us to see um, these uh, ladies carrying their um, th their uh, baskets on their head uh, on a regular basis. It was uh, something we got used to. But let me just show you what's going on on the head here. So she has, as you can see, there is a a knife in here, which is almost like a small sickle, some pumpkins, uh, and beautifully modeled, nice correct, in a nice basket, some, some mealies or maize, chimanga, whatever you want to call it. There we are, there we are. So, I'm going to just spin it around so you can see the, all of the details, the lady with her nice, uh, traditional dress that she's wearing, or traditional not dress around the top, some uh, jewellery based on the beadwork that is obviously very um, common amongst uh, the, uh, the population and uh, very important as well. And the young man with his traditional male dress on as well. Okay. Um, w one thing that I found difficult when showing this is you cannot really see he on, on the picture the detail on the black body. It's finished matte. It's it's not finished as a uh, and glazed as like the baskets are glazed and the base is glazed and there's some glaze on on parts of it. So to actually show the detail on the on the video is very very difficult. And uh, I will try to bring it up a bit quick closer so you can see on the figure itself some of the like the work is, is 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 really superb now it's the sculptor was uh, is a guy called uh, Bennett Zondo it's incised on the bottom as uh, as a BZ uh, Bennett Zondo sometimes also known as Bernard same guy um, one of the first men to join Ardmore and um, I think he 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 turned up to, to Ardmore with a with his um, pottery model of a cow giving birth, and I think Faye was quite taken by this. And obviously the guy he has gone on to become one of the more, most collectible people in Ardmore. His work has sold at Christie's auctions in London for oh about three occasions. I think I've got the dates of two thousand three, four, and seven. And now he is producing work under the name of. Imbelu Natural Arts. One of those who have come through Ardmore has developed his skills and is now um, applying his trade elsewhere, you might say. It's painted by Bonkikili Ntombela, and again, she was a young lady born in uh, 1988, attended school locally in Ligerton and the areas around Ardmore, and um, she went, uh, art, she enjoyed her art classes at school. Um, and um, with a, a lady called Gabby Nkosi from Cavisham Press and Wiseman Ndrilovu from Ardmore. So these are people that influenced her and she joined the Ardmore programme in 2015, um, enjoys painting, uh, mainly animals apparently, uh, cat, cats, leopards, giraffes, etc. Because she's more interested, although she has done sculpting, she does actually um, prefer to do the painting because it's the playing with colours. And if I just show you on the bottom, the date on here is 2016. Not not much you can see there, but there we are. That's the date and uh, the names of the two people involved. It's a it's a nice sculptural piece. It displays well. Um, doesn't quite have the madness of some of my pieces, which I enjoy, um, but it shows the true skill of the Ardmore artists, sculptors, painters both and the magnificent work that they can actually produce. Next time I do a piece is going to probably go back to one of the more 
I have a, an interesting piece that uh, Faye told me was to do with the uh, the AIDS epidemic, and I'll bring that one. I'll play that one next time. It's a, it's a little bit bonkers. Got a couple of people sitting on the back of a crocodile for want of a better thing, but there we are. That's nice. It's a nice sculptural piece and uh, anatomically correct and beautifully painted.